Welcome back to another Monday Morning Mentoring. So let's talk about ruminating and reflecting. They are different. A lot of times folks that get themselves into trouble are spending time ruminating or worrying or really getting into deep contemplation of what they did wrong or how it didn't go well. And this is a habit. So we talk a lot about habits you know, Lead Stronger Longer is all about the 52 performance habits. Well, this is one of the habits that you want to get right because you want to reflect, not ruminate, not go into deep worry and set yourself up for a big loss. This is how I run things when I'm with a client. The first thing we do is reflect what's going well and then we reflect what's not going well. It sounds something like this. What was your biggest win? Great. On that biggest win, what were the actions or the specific things that made that a win? Because when we reflect on that, we now have something that's tangible that we either know is something we can repeat. So good, we wanna do more of those actions. We want to repeat those actions, those thought processes, maybe make it a habit. So we now are building into a routine of more successes. Now we'll do the same thing with the challenge or when there's a loss. Okay, so I'll ask, what's your biggest challenge you want help with right now? And when we look at that from this perspective of, okay, there's a challenge or there's a loss or there is a, a failure, quote unquote, right? A failure that's happened. Great, let's look at what we did or failed to do or didn't do Right? Fail, the word fail and failure has too many negative connotations, so I, I often don't use that, but I want to bring this to light so that maybe you can take some of this edge off of the word failure and just know that there is no such thing as failure if you keep unraveling or you keep learning or you keep growing from it. Um, failure is just not continuing or showing up towards what you want to do, right? Versus success, which is really, um, you know, that's that's kind of a state of mind. And in this moment, right now, I can feel like, oh, I'm a failure because I'm not getting this video out perfectly. Um, or, hey, I'm showing up. That's part of my process of success. So I'm modeling a couple of these pieces so that you can ideally think about this throughout your week and reflect effectively rather than ruminate, which is usually ineffective because it's, it, oftentimes what I've observed is that people who ruminate and go into this deep uh, contemplating and worrying, spin themselves in. That means they get introverted or, and then, oh, there's other stuff that happens, but this is a really important and simple, simple concept and simple practice that you can do in any area, personally or professionally. So when I'm working with powerhouse leaders and I'm inviting someone to a leadership solution call, I invite you to one as well, if you need help specifically unpacking this because you want to know, why did you win? Why was today a win or that specific action a win? What made that successful? And you also wanna know what is the biggest challenge and why why is that happening? What actions am I doing or not doing? What did I stop doing? What should I be doing, right? And this is when you have now effectively taken something that is often termed as a failure or a loss and you've turned it around and no longer is that loss something that's permanent and stuck and oh, that means I'm bad. It has now been flipped into, oh, I learned from this. This is what I want to empower you with because that's how you not only tap back into your power, but you move forward and shift things. There are plenty of times where we all have opportunities to win. But often when we are taking and really understanding and reflecting on the losses, on where we didn't do well, those are our biggest growth opportunities. So don't make it mean you've just done something bad. I hope that helps. 
Let me know if it does. Comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.